Today on Animal Fact Files, we're going to be looking at kiwis. If you like learning facts about animals, then subscribe to this channel so you can stay up to date on all the new content. Nope, we're not talking about fuzzy brown fruit, we're talking about fuzzy brown birds. Kiwis are found wildly only in New Zealand, and they've become a national symbol of the country. Much like the frilled neck lizard from a previous episode, the kiwi is so representative of New Zealand's nation that its people are actually referred to as kiwis. Kiwis are related to other flightless birds, such as ostriches and emus. It's guessed that their early ancestors flew to the islands of New Zealand and found them to be quite to their liking. See, New Zealand is a place without any native mammals. What this means is that ancient kiwi ancestors were able to live with relatively no predation as there were no mammals to act as their predators. It's guessed that this is in part why kiwis evolved in the way they did. While they are definitely birds, they share some common attributes with mammals, leading some to call them quasi-mammals as they filled a niche in the ecosystem that in other parts of the world would have been filled by, well, a mammal. Kiwis have cooler body temperatures just like a mammal, and their bones contain marrow just like a mammal. As they are flightless, they nest in underground burrows as opposed to the trees where most other birds reside, and they completely lack a keel, which is the breastplate to which most birds' flying muscles connect. They also have working nostrils at the end of their long bill, which act as a nose in search for food. This is a trait not observed in any other bird species. So, yeah, bird mammals. There are five species of kiwis, though further research into their DNA may prove that more exist still. The five recognized species are the brown kiwi, the great spotted kiwi, the little spotted kiwi, the roe, and the tokoeka. On average, they are about the size of a chicken, weighing between 2 and 11 pounds. Their height ranges anywhere from 14 to 25 inches, and females tend to be larger than males. It's been believed for some time that kiwis are monogamous, meaning they stick with the same partner for their entire life, though recent developments suggest that on occasion, females will leave their mates if a more desirable male strolls by. It's typical for the males to build nesting burrows and to incubate the eggs, of which there is normally only one per clutch, though different species may lay more. He will incubate the egg upwards of 80 plus days and then take care of the young chick for weeks after it has hatched. Maybe he does this because the eggs can reach a size that's nearly 20% of the female's body weight. Yeah, you heard correctly. The female kiwi may lay an egg that weighs up to a pound. For comparison, that would be like if a 120-pound human woman gave birth to a 24-pound baby. Or, if you want to look at it another way, that's just a little bit less than the weight of the average emu egg. Emus being birds that can weigh over 80 pounds. Basically, that's a lot of egg for one little chick. Because the eggs are so large, the chicks hatch fully formed, complete with feathers that are usually brown in color, though some species sport gray or even white plumage. A baby kiwi will stay in its parents' territory for as long as they will tolerate her presence. That's because kiwis are profoundly territorial. They'll protect their turf even to the death. Each night, while hunting for worms and other tasty grubs, they will leave behind foul-smelling excrements to mark the range of their territory, which can be as large as a hundred acres and is typically in boggy forests or grasslands. While they do have to watch out for each other, their biggest threats are non-native mammals brought over by humans. Stoats are the leading contributor to the declining populations of kiwis, as well as cats, ferrets, and dogs. On average, only 5% of wild-born kiwi chicks will survive to adulthood. Massive efforts have been made to help these birds out as they are currently losing more than 20 individuals on a weekly basis, leaving a population of only 65,000 birds in total. Those that are born in areas where predators are controlled have a much higher life expectancy. Kiwis that manage to survive to adulthood can live for 25 to possibly even 50 years of age. Some other quick facts I think you should know about kiwis are that some species of kiwi are endangered. They're thought to be the world's most ancient bird, so it's no wonder they look like living dinosaurs. They don't have an egg tooth, so they just kick their way out of their eggs. Them dino legs come in handy here. They're mostly nocturnal. They've got a hook on the end of their inch-long wings that pretty much serves no purpose. They eat fruit as well as insects. They can run as fast as a human. And there's a cartoon dog sharing the same name, though I think there's no relation. 
I could probably go on forever about these little birds, but I'll leave it at that. For more information on kiwis, check out the links in the description. Let us know what animal you'd like to see next. Thank you for watching, and be sure to give a thumbs up for more Animal Fact Files.